Though significant precipitation fell across Arkansas, Mississippi, Tennessee, Louisiana, eastern sections of Oklahoma and Texas over the past few weeks, it did bypass the drought in western Texas and Oklahoma. Now northern New Mexico, west Texas, western Oklahoma, southern Colorado and southwest Kansas have fallen into deeper levels of drought according to the National Drought Mitigation Center at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. The early October rains for that region seem like a long faded memory as most non-irrigated winter wheat fields and pastures in the panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma in very poor or even dead condition. Now, according to the most recent USDA statistics, 61% of Texas wheat is in poor or very poor condition. For Oklahoma, it's 57%, Kansas at 44%, Colorado at 19% in trouble. Now, as for pastures and rangeland conditions, Colorado's at 41%, New Mexico 40%, Oklahoma 37%, and Texas 26%. Again, pastures that are in similar condition. In the Texas Panhandle, soils dry down to three feet, whereas other locations dry in the upper 18 inches, and level two water restrictions in place for Canyon, Texas as well. This week, odds are favoring precipitation across much of the West and Rockies and the Plains, except for Southern Arizona, most of New Mexico and Texas, upper and middle Mississippi valleys, Great Lakes regions, northern New England and southern half of Alaska favor good chances for rain, but cooler temperatures, a good bet across much of the lower 48, except for, you guessed it, southern plains and extreme southern Florida. With another Ag News Update, I'm Tony St. James.